Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready to make some real horror money? Sit back, relax and watch. Now here's your host, Marmo Zine. Hello friend, thanks for choosing to watch Horror Cash. I'm your horror host, Marmo Zine. And today we're going to talk about the way that's made me the most money of all. And that's eBay. Uh, I started selling on eBay, I believe, way back in the 90s. And uh, I would find things and then put them on eBay and sell them. And that was before they even had digital cameras, so I just had to describe everything. I remember I worked at this auction one time and got this big box full of old movie slides that they used during the colorization process easily made a couple hundred bucks off of those and it was really cool i constantly had checks coming in the mail nowadays you you would be your paypal going off all the time i remember i when i owned my bookstore i used to sell a lot of books on ebay and i had the ebay app on my phone and it would go cha-ching every time i made a sale and that felt really good just watching tv all of a sudden you hear Chiching, and I'm like, yeah, I just made some money. Yes, yes. So eBay is a great way to make money online. And we're going to watch some videos today uh, talking about eBay and how you can make money online with eBay. So let's go ahead and get started now. If you've ever read an article about eBay, you will have seen the kinds of incomes people make. It isn't unusual to hear of people making thousands of dollars per month on eBay. Next time you're on eBay, take a look at how many power sellers there are. You'll find quite a few. Now consider that every single one of one of them must be making at least $1,000 per month, as that's eBay's requirement for becoming a power seller. Silver power sellers make at least $3,000 each month. Gold power sellers make more than $10,000. Platinum power sellers make more than $25,000. and. Titanium power sellers make at least a whopping $150,000 in sales every month. The fact that these people exist gives you some idea of the income possibilities here. Most of them never set out to even set up a business on eBay. They simply started selling a few things, and then kept going. There are plenty of people whose full-time job is selling things on eBay, and some of them have been doing it for years now. Can you imagine that? Once they've bought the stock, everything else is pretty much pure profit for these people. They don't need to pay for any business premises, staff, or anything else. There are multi-million pound businesses making less in actual profit than eBay power sellers do. Even if you don't want to quit your job and really go for it, you can still use eBay to make a significant second income. You can pack up orders during the week and take them down to the post office for delivery each Saturday. There are few other things you could be doing with your spare time that have anywhere near that kind of earning potential. What's more, eBay doesn't care who you are, where you live, or what you look like. Some power sellers are very old, or very young. Some live out in the middle of nowhere where selling on eBay is one of the few alternatives to farming or being very poor eBay tears down the barriers to earning that the real world constantly puts up. There's no job interview and no commuting involved. If you can post things, you can do it. Put it this way, if you know where to get something reasonably cheaply that you could sell, then you can sell it on eBay. And since you can always get discounts for bulk at wholesale, that's not exactly difficult. Buy a job lot of something in demand cheaply, sell it on eBay and you're making money already, with no setup costs. If you want to dip your toe in the water before you commit to actually buying anything, then you can just sell things that you've got lying around in the house. Search through that cupboard of stuff you never use, and you'll probably find you've got a few hundred dollars worth of stuff lying around in there. This is the power of eBay. There is always someone who wants what you're selling, whatever it might be, and since they've come looking for you, you don't even need to do anything to get them to buy it. So you want to get started on eBay.
Well, that's great. There are only a few little things you need to learn to get started. Watch on. So yeah, I mean, these power sellers, they're making thousands and thousands of dollars a month on eBay. And uh, they're just buying in bulk or buying wholesale and then turn around, sell it on eBay at a more inflated price. That's, uh, that's one of the great building blocks of capitalism is buying low and selling high. And it works on eBay. And uh, there's like, like they say, there's just a few things you need to do to get started and uh, you can make, you can start becoming a power seller. And I became some kind of power seller. I know I had my, uh, my sales go up or my status go up to a, a better thing because I got, I got these boxes of old golden kids books. And uh, I was selling those on eBay and making a grip of money selling them. I found a, a forum online dedicated to people who collected those books. And then I'd post all the auctions on there. And I was making like a hundred bucks per auction for, I was doing sets of four or five books, making a hundred bucks on an auction. And I really earned some money that way. Like I say, my status went up higher. And but first, first off, you need to register. That's what our next video is about. So keep watching and keep watching till the end. I encourage you because uh, you're going to learn lots of great facts here on how you can make some extra money. Studies show that the most successful sellers on eBay operate businesses that are well organized and maintain perfect financial records of each and every transaction that they do both through eBay and with their wholesalers. The first thing that you will have to do in order to sell on eBay to is register. There are several reasons why you first have to register on eBay. These include eBay requires a certain amount of personal information from you. This is to keep the eBay site secure. eBay requires that you register with them before you can begin selling an item or bidding on other saleable items. Registration will provide you with updates on the latest eBay information and deals. Registration at eBay is easy. All you have to do is follow the steps laid out for you. You will be required to provide your name, address, phone number, and a valid email address. Many eBay power sellers choose to use a business name for their online transactions. You will want to include this business name in your eBay registration. eBay also needs your banking and credit information so that they can bill you appropriately for the small fees owed to them for any listing fees and commissions. Any personal information collected by eBay is done through a secure system so you do not have to worry about security issues. The registration process takes only a few minutes for you to complete. Make sure your credit card and banking information is accurate and up to date to avoid confusion and error later. So yeah, you got to register with eBay first and foremost. Start an account if you don't already have one. And uh, I think it's pretty easy. It's just like any other website except that you have to put your credit card information and bank information in there so you can get charged. And I know that they're really hooked in with PayPal. So nowadays it's probably PayPal. You have to connect and everything. And uh, it should be super simple to register. And you might want to try and buy a couple things first before you start uh, selling because that way you can get some feedback and get some transactions on there and you can see how the whole process works and uh, that's it's pretty simple to get started to get registered I'm sure you'll be able to figure it out and now let's watch our next video what to sell first off you need to know what it is you're going to sell what's your speciality you'll do far better on eBay if you become a great source for certain kind of products as people who are interested in those products will come back to you again and again.
You won't get any loyalty or real reputation if you just sell rubbish at random. When you think about what to sell, there are a few things to consider. The most important of these is to always sell what you know. If you try to sell something that you just don't know anything about then you'll never write a good description and sell it for a good price. You might think you're not especially interested in anything, but if you think about what kind of things you usually buy and which websites you go to most often, I'm sure you'll discover some kind of interest. If all else fails mention it to your friends and family, they'll almost certainly say, oh, well why don't you sell and you'll slap your forehead. Out of the things you know enough about, you should then consider which things you could actually get for a good enough price to resell, and how suitable they would be for posting. If you can think of something of that you're knowledgeable about and it's small and light enough for postage to be relatively cheap, then that's great. Don't worry if you think the thing you're selling is too obscure, it isn't. There's a market for almost everything on eBay, even things that wouldn't sell once in a year if you stocked them in a shop. You'll probably do even better if you fill a niche than if you sell something common. Yeah, so you got to pick, figure out what you want to sell. Um, you might sell a collectible or a little knickknack or games. I remember one time I even I ordered some cards off eBay, some horror movie trading cards, and I started putting them one one at a time on eBay. And then shipping was only a stamp. I would just throw the card in an envelope, mail it off with the stamp. And uh, I got sales, man. You can sell just about anything. And there'll be, videos, there'll be some videos uh, later in this, in this program that talk about where to find things to buy. But you might think of a certain niche of things you want to sell and uh, get that all prepared and all ready. And then, you know, you can specialize in a certain kind of item or something. And uh, that'll give your customers more uh, assurance that you're a legit dealer if you are always selling something similar. And so let's watch the next video. The secret to making money on eBay is to attract as many bidders as possible. There are several different sections that you can complete to create an eBay listing that is perfect for the item that you are selling. These include Selecting a selling format that is right for you. Do you want to use the online auction format or set a definite fixed price for your items? You may want to experiment with several items and use a different selling format for each one. Keep track of which selling format works best for which items. The buy it now option may work wonderfully for one particular item but for another item it may be more advantageous to sell using the online auction format. Once you have experimented with a few items you will soon know what selling format to use for which of your sellable items. Choose the right category for your items. You will want to find the category or categories that best define the items you are selling. This is so that target buyers are able to easily and quickly find your item. If you are unsure about what category to choose for your items, it is wise to play it safe and list them in more than one category. Write a descriptive title for your items. Choose words that define what you are selling and that will appear in any search that a buyer might try on eBay. Remember that you are competing with many other power sellers to get the attention of buyers and earn money. Your title is important because eBay search engine works by reading the title line. You should try and use some keywords in your title line for these search purposes. Identity the item clearly. If possible mention a brand name. The more information contained in your title line, the more bidders you will attract to your listing. Description of your items This is your opportunity to be creative and promote your item. A description should be written in some type of logical order. You should a. Describe what the item is, b. Include the title, c. Include the artist, author, or manufacturer of the item. D. 
indicate identifying marks or other identifying information. B. Describe what the item is made of. F. List the size and dimensions. G. Describe the condition of the item. And H. Include any special history or features that you think the buyer should know. It is also important to include one line in your description that encourages buyers to email you with any questions. Use pictures. People like to see exactly what they are bidding on. eBay makes the process of including pictures in your listings an easy process. Pictures will attract buyers to your items. If you are posting more than one photo use your most informative picture first, one that includes all the features of your item. Take the time to get the lighting in the photo right and the setup of the item correct so that you are taking a top quality picture. Remember that a picture is worth a thousand words and will sell your item. Price Decide what price you want to establish for the items you are selling. Determine whether you are using the online auction format or are using the buy it now option. You will also want to decide how long you want your listing to run. It is important to carefully determine what price is best for the item you are selling. Take the time to look at similar items that are selling on eBay. Research your competitors and see what they are doing. If you want to sell crystal vases, for example, you should take a look to see at what price other vases are being sold and at what prices they are listed. It is important that you research similar items so that you know what price to charge and if there is a market for what you want to sell. This step is vital since you may discover that you can't compete with current sellers on price or there is simply no market for what you have to offer. Indicate your payment and shipping preferences. You should offer as many payment options for the buyer as possible, including credit cards. The more payment options that you offer potential bidders, the more attention your item will attract. This will ensure you success as an eBay power seller. Wow, that video is packed with information. Tons and tons of stuff to learn off of that one. Talking about categories, you want to break, put your item in one or two or three different categories. Uh, depending on what it is, but you want to make sure you pick the right ones. And title, descriptive title, great description. Be sure and include uh, co contact me by email. And it was talking about pictures. You want to put lots of pictures in, or at least one really good picture that shows everything about the item. And uh, that's. You fill out your form, get it listed. I remember, because I had to sell books in bulk because paperbacks weren't very mu worth very much. So I had to sell like 20 or 30 paperbacks at a time when I was selling on eBay. And, uh, and I would go through the effort of listing all of the titles and all of the authors in the description, get a nice long description so people know exactly what they're getting. And some every once in a while, there'd be a really rare paperback in there. And people would buy the whole lot just to get that one paperback. So it really pays to write a very long, lengthy description and be sure and include every detail and everything. And uh, that's, that, that's really all it takes to sell on eBay is filling out the title, the description, but there's a lot more to learn, so let's watch this next video. Successful Selling System S. 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 So you want to be a successful seller with your own eBay business, do you? Here's a simple, 10-step path to eBay enlightenment. Step 1. Identify your market. Take a while to sit and watch for what sells and what doesn't out of the items you're interested in. Any market research data you can collect will be very useful to you later on. You'll probably see the sweet spots quite quickly, 
those one or two items that always seem to sell for a good price. Step 2. Watch the competition. Before you invest any money, see what the other sellers in your category are up to and what their strategies are. Pay special attention to any flaws their auctions might have, because this is where you can move in and beat them at their own game. Step 3. Find a product. Get hold of a supplier for whatever it is you want to sell, and see what the best rates you can get are. Don't be afraid to ring round quite a few to get the best deal. If the eBay prices you've seen are higher than the suppliers, then you're set. Step 4. Start small. Don't throw thousands at your idea straight away. Get started slowly. See what works and what doesn't, and learn as you go. Remember that it's very cheap to try out even the craziest ideas on eBay, and who knows, they might just work. Step 5. Test and repeat. Keep trying different strategies until you find something that works, and then don't be ashamed to keep doing it, again and again. The chances are that you've just found a good niche. Step 6. Work out a business plan. A business plan doesn't need to be anything formal, just a few pages that outline the market opportunity you've spotted, your strategy, strengths and weaknesses of the plan and a brief budget. This is more for you than it is for anyone else. Step 7. Invest and expand. This is the time to throw money at the problem. Buy inventory and start spending more time on your business. Set a goal number of sales each week, increasing it each time. Step 8. Make it official. Once you've made a few thousand dollars worth of sales, you should really register yourself as a business. Don't worry, it's not expensive or hard to do. A lawyer is the best person to help you through the process. Step 9. Automate. You'll probably find that you're writing the same things again and again in emails or item descriptions. This is the time to give up on the manual method and turn to automated software that can create listings for you and respond to completed auctions and payments with whatever message you provide. Step 10. Never give up. Even when it looks like it's all going wrong, don't stop trying until you succeed. If you keep working at it then you'll almost always find that you make a real breakthrough just when things are starting to look desperate. Once you get into the swing of things, you might start thinking that you should quit your job and take up eBay selling part-time. But it's not always as easy as that. There are all sorts of factors that you need to consider. The next email will weigh up the case for and against taking up eBay full-time. Well, there you have it, folks, a 10-step plan to have success, 10 steps to have success at eBay, real simple to follow, start off slow, uh, you can try just one or two uh, listings just to see what happens if they sell, then you can do it again and again and eventually have your own eBay store or whatever start your business, get a lawyer, and get registered as a business for your taxes, all great uh, information and ideas. And um, yeah, just follow those 10 steps real easy. I'm just drinking my movie drink here. And uh, so let's go ahead and watch the next video eBay listing titles. The title that you give your listings and the description that you provide are going to make all the difference when it comes to the sale of your products. The title and the description are your form of advertising in the eBay community. Without solid titles and strong descriptions you stand the chance of losing buyers to other sellers who stand out in the crowd. Your goal should be to become one of these sellers that stand out in that crowd. Creating a strong title 
buyers at eBay will notice the product that you are reselling from the title that you write for the item. You want to create a title that is immediately eye-catching so that buyers want to linger for that crucial extra minute to read your description. Following are some guidelines for writing a strong, eye-catching title. Try to use words that are highly descriptive and that fully describe the item that you're reselling. If appropriate, include the keywords in the title such as 1. Brand names, 2. Artist name, 3. Designer names, or 4. Any other identifying words that you know buyers will recognize. You need to precisely say what the item is. Don't be afraid to include the category name in the item title since it never hurts to emphasize this. Try to choose words in the title that buyers might use to search for items. This will bring more buyers to your item page. You only have so much space for a title so make the most of the words that you use. You don't want to use words that have no meaning, such as incredible, which really tells the buyer nothing about the item that you're reselling. Take a look at similar items that sold for a good price. See what titles those sellers used to encourage buyers to read through the description of the item that they were selling. There are some types of titles which eBay prohibits the use of. This includes titles that 1. Use profane language 2. Use words that lead a buyer to believe the product is illegal 3. Titles that include phone numbers, email addresses, or URLs 4. Titles that don't adequately describe the item that you're reselling in any way. When you follow these tips you will be well on your way to creating titles that catch the eyes of buyers. Yeah, so titles are super important when people scroll through all the listings. They're going off a title. They got to they they look at the title and decide whether they're going to click or not and read your description. So you definitely want to have a great title and put as much information in the title as possible so that people will read your description. And let's go ahead and watch the next video. Creating a strong description the more time that you put into writing a good description for the items that you're reselling, the better chance you have of getting a lot of bids and selling at a high price. A description that is strong and filled with a lot of information will, 1, give buyers all that they need to know to want to place a bid on your item, and, 2, leave buyers with the impression that you care about what you're reselling. Sellers are always trying new techniques when it comes to item descriptions. Some of the more interesting things that you might want to include in the description are telling the buyer why you personally like the item that you're reselling, letting the buyer know what appeals to you about the item, and what use the item might have to anyone who is considering placing a bid. There are some things that you should include in the description of the products that you're reselling. Some of this specific information should include a clear explanation of what the item is, what the item is made of and the year that it was made, who created the item, such as artist or author? What is the current condition of the item? What are the measurements of the item? Are there any distinguishing features of the item that the buyer should know about? What is the history of the item that you're reselling? There are obviously some pieces of information that you want to be able to include in the item description. Keep in mind that buyers have the ability to get in touch with you if they want to ask for more information. There are some definite things that you should avoid when it comes to the description of the item. This includes Never include any false information that will deceive a buyer. Avoid what is called keyword spam. This means that you can't include keywords that aren't related to the item that you're reselling such as throwing in a brand name when you're not selling that particular brand. Before you finalize your description, make sure that you've included all the relevant information. Critical information that you should include. Information about your payment methods. Information about packaging and shipping. Where you relocated. Any other information that can make the difference between a sale and a non-sale.
As a final note, make sure that check the spelling and grammar of your item descriptions before you submit. Nothing looks more unprofessional than an eBay listing that has spelling and grammar mistakes. So here's some great information about your descriptions on your eBay listing. I really like the idea of um, talking about what you like about the specific item and how you could use it, how your buyer could use it, but like talking about what in particular the reasons why you like that product. I think that's a really great technique and uh, you want to be as descriptive as possible and write long descriptions, I know. So definitely go with that. And let's watch the next video. To give you an idea of what is being sold at eBay, here are a few of the items offered for sale today. Collectibles. There are a wide range of collectibles that are sold every day on eBay. From the traditional fare of stamps, coins, and comic books to the more specialized items such as Beanie Babies, Zippo Lighters, and Pez Dispensers, eBay is by far the number one place on the web to find the widest range of both popular and hard-to-find collectible items. Electronics eBay is an excellent source to sell both new and used electronic items. Whether you are selling individual items or lots that have been purchased in bulk, there are always buyers for electronic goods of all shapes and sizes. Cell phones, stereo equipment, computers, and video games are just a few of the millions of high-tech gadgetry that can be found across many sections of the eBay community. Antiques, items in this category include everything from Asian vases to antique maps. If you are considering selling an antique make sure you know the value of the item so that you can verify the item's worth. If you have any documentation that legitimizes the age and antique value of the item you should make note of this in your item listing. Take a photo of any documentation that supports the value and age of the antique you are selling. You should also take a picture of any identifying marks on the antique to establish its worth. The more information you can provide potential buyers the more successful you will be with the sale. Books Books are a very popular sale item on eBay. Subcategories include children's books, poetry, reference books, and the latest fiction. If you are thinking about selling books at eBay you will have to do your research very carefully to make certain that you are selling at a competitive market value. One of the best things about selling books is that they are easy to package and ship to the seller. Books are relatively difficult to damage during mailing and shipping costs will be minimal compared to the shipping expenses of larger, more fragile items bought on eBay. You will want to find out the availability of a certain book you are thinking about selling. If the book is readily available through other selling markets, such as bookstores and supermarkets, there may not be a high demand for the book and you may want to reconsider spending time listing it on eBay. Make sure the books you are selling are in good condition. If there is wear and tear or damage to the book be sure to make mention of this in your eBay listing. You want to give the buyer as much information as possible. DVDs and movies. DVDs and movies are a great item to sell on eBay. Be sure to include information such as media format, DVD slash VHS slash beta slash laserdisc slash etc and encoding information, such as PAL slash NTSC. When dealing with box sets, be sure to include bonus items and packaging details. Arts and Crafts On eBay you will find many examples of the modern cottage industry with individuals and small mom and pop operations who create arts and crafts of every flavor imaginable. From homemade candles to home-fired ceramics to hand-strung beads and artwork, eBay has no shortage of merchandise that caters to those who desire items with that personal touch. In addition to offering the final products of many creative individuals, eBay also hosts many vendors of arts and crafts supplies. So there's a couple different categories, different things you can sell on eBay. Uh, antiques, electronics, arts and crafts, and of course books, and it was talking about how easy books are to ship and also with books you can get the media mail rate 
at the post office, which makes them easier to ship. That's how I was able to sell like big boxes full of 40 paperbacks or whatever with the media mail shipping. And uh, you can also sell clothes and different things you can find. Um, I know I think coming up next, it's gonna the video is going to talk about where you can find stuff to sell on eBay. And so that should be pretty interesting. So let's watch. Here are some suggestions for where to begin searching for merchandise for sale on eBay, which can result in the highest profit margins and therefore more money in your pocket. Flea markets. It is possible to find many hidden treasures at flea markets in your local area. It is common for attics to be cleared out and surplus stock from a variety of retail outlets to be emptied into the flea market ecosystem in the hopes of making at least some amount of money from what is considered to be surplus or salvaged. It is here that you can find the best deals, but you can also uncover hard-to-find collectibles, electronics, and many other categories of merchandise that are ripe for the picking for resale on eBay. Another thing to look out for when scouring flea markets is geographically specific items. Items which may be hard to find in one part of the world may be very easy to find in another. Due to the fact that eBay is a global market, it can pay off very well to keep your eyes peeled for these little nuggets of profit. eBay itself Another great place to find the types of things to resell on eBay is right there on eBay. Although at first thought it may seem a little counterproductive, what it all really boils down to is getting a good deal at a good time. Try to focus on types of merchandise you have more than a cursory knowledge of. For example, if you are a comic book buff who has been collecting for years, you will have a great eye for that particular subsection of eBay, and a much greater chance of knowing a good deal when you see it. Of particular focus should be auctioneers letting go of entire lots of merchandise for events like estate sales, unclaimed freight, or store closings. Digging through eBay's mountain of merchandise when you know what you are doing can prove not only profitable, but a lot of fun as well. Swap meets slash conventions. It can also pay to take note when your local area is hosting special interest conventions and swap meets such as gun shows, comic book conventions, and the like. With a little research on eBay regarding the current market for the particular classes of merchandise focused on at these meets, studious, and diligent individuals can profit greatly from very little initial investment. In addition to the diverse collections of various types of items that these meets and conventions will place at your fingertips, you can also usually acquire a lot of freebies, or swag in convention nomenclature, which can be easily resold to enthusiasts of the particular subject you are participating in the meet for. Buying in bulk This is less of a where and more of a how, but it is definitely applicable. It seems like a lot of power sellers find something they get a good bargain on locally and sell it to a wide market that doesn't have that same access. For instance, you might discover that computer desk shelves are selling on eBay for quite a bit more than your local bulk retailer charges. This is an excellent opportunity for you to profit from your location and what you have access to. To take this another step further you may wish to contact the manufacturer and find a wholesaler to purchase it in bulk. Some manufacturers will work with you in this way and some won't. You will just have to experiment and find out. Another good idea is visiting closeout stores and outlets. It's a potluck selection that sells for way below catalog price, and eBay sellers are looking to make the profit margin from people who don't have access to these stores. Clearance racks at malls Try searching the clearance racks in your local shopping malls for great deals on clothing. Many people live in areas that are not serviced by shopping malls and therefore don't have access to the types of merchandise that you do. It's a good idea to visit these stores during big sales, especially right after the holiday period or at the turn of seasons when retailers will be trying to get rid of their old stock to make room for the new.
particularly focus on trendy stores that deal in expensive brand name items. Often you will be able to find very popular, trendy labels for a fraction of their retail cost, sometimes even below cost. Garage Sales Don't forget to check your local paper for garage slash lawn sales. Usually you can find great deals if you are willing to dig and sit through a few garage sales every weekend. Your own attic. You would be shocked what some people, and maybe even you, have in the attic. The next time you do some spring cleaning, be sure to take the time to dig through some of those boxes, wooden chests, and foot lockers collecting dust in your attic, basement or storage shed. Anything from antiques to unique collectibles can be found by just digging around bit a rainy April afternoon. So there you have it, folks, a bunch of friends. You, there you have it, friend, a bunch of uh, different places that you can find some awesome stuff to sell on eBay, like garage sales. You can always hit up those flea markets. I know where I'm at. There's a ton of different flea markets here, and they're all full of collectibles there's probably all kinds of great deals and now you can just get on your cell phone and check on ebay for prices and find some great deals and you're, you're guaranteed to to know the price of what it sells for on ebay um places like big lots and closeout stores are really great i know over the years i've seen like some awesome toys and some awesome dvds and different stuff. I remember seeing a Joan Jet Barbie at um, Big Lots one time, and I really wanted it, but didn't get it. But you could probably take, buy that and flip it on eBay. You can even buy stuff and hold on to it for a little while until it becomes an even better deal and worth even more. Um, I know the mall, I used to work at a toy store at the mall. And after Christmas, they'd have this huge sale where everything would be 50% off and then 75% off. So you could get some really awesome deals, seasonal deals, you know. So there's all kinds of places to buy stuff and flip stuff. I remember there was like a grocery outlet in my old hometown that where you could get some toys and games and stuff at really great discounts. And if you flip that stuff on eBay, some quick money, and it adds up. I was just talking to my grandma about how when I lived in San Diego in Claremont, um, I used to do eBay, and back then it was checks. You had to wait for checks to come in the mail. But I got to a point where I was getting two or three checks a week, and I'd cash them, and it was really great supplemental income and uh, real easy to do and uh, and that that's the great thing about eBay you can just buy stuff and flip it real fast and put an extra five or ten bucks in your pocket or whatever and those little sales do add up so there's only one more video left folks and let's watch right now powerful selling techniques there are many things you can do to increase the sale of your items on eBay not only do you need to register on eBay and create a seller's account, you need to use all the techniques and tips at your fingertips to see consistent and increased sales. Here are some general techniques for you to consider, some of which have been touched on in other chapters as well as here. Treat your buyers right. It is very important to build up a good relationship with your buyers and potential buyers. Be sure to answer all email questions as well as you can. Make sure that you leave positive feedback for buyers. This is an important step towards building up your reputation as a power seller on eBay. Do not expect instant wealth. If you start selling with the intent of becoming rich instantly you may be disappointed to find that earning a substantial profit selling on eBay takes some time and effort. You need to build up your eBay business over a period of several months. If you are consistent and determined you will quickly see the results in your bank account. Remember that selling on eBay is a business. If you keep that in mind you will treat it with more seriousness. Learn how to stand out from the crowd of other sellers on eBay.
offer as many payment options as possible, including credit cards. The more payment options you offer prospective buyers, the more bidders your product will attract and the more successful your selling on eBay will be. Be knowledgeable about your shipping options. Offer as many options as you can, especially for international buyers. Be very clear when outlining your shipping policies for bidders. Be sure to write very descriptive listings for your merchandise. As much care should be taken in articulating the sale in words as there is to the photograph of your item. Constantly check out what the competition is doing. Make time to see what your competitors are selling and at what prices. You need to remain up to date so that you can remain competitive. Participate in the eBay online community areas. This includes the message boards and chat areas. Include measurements for any merchandise in which the dimensions or weight can be an issue. If you are going to be selling a lot of items, consider opening an eBay store. Maintain a professional attitude. As with any other sector of the business world, a good professional attitude and a professional reputation will take you far. Keep track of all your sales records for tax purposes. Keep a database of your customers. Make sure you record business critical information such as shipping address and contact information. So that's the final video, folks. Uh, you want to be sure and be professional and leave positive feedback for your buyers and always have a good attitude and that'll take you far. And I really hope you have success with eBay. I hope it brings you some extra side money or maybe you do so well you go pro eBay. That would be cool too. But thanks so much for watching to the end. I really appreciate it. And be sure and subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon and hit the like and leave a comment. Tell me what you want to learn. Um, just today I had a great comment. They said they want to start a YouTube channel and, and uh, start making some money that way. So I'm going to work towards making some good YouTube training. So be sure and let me know what you're looking for and what you want to learn. And once again, thanks so much and stay tuned because I'm going to keep making some great, some more great make money online videos. And thanks so much. Here at Mormo International, we love our fans. They are the most intelligent, passionate, and fiercely independent individuals on this planet. That's why we strive to bring them the very best of underground entertainment in movies music, magic, and zines. We realize that concepts like making a profit and breaking even are old fashioned. That's why you will receive our products for little to no charge. So join Mormo on Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube, and always remember, ours the magic, ours the power.